My job as a reporter is to report. It's not to suppress news. I'll give you an example. For years and years and years and years, NBC will pay a fortune for the Olympics. I don't work for NBC. They don't have to delay the Olympic results. That's their problem. I work for ESPN, and now I work for Fox. This year, next time they have the Olympics on my show, I'm just going to have a running wire underneath giving you all the live results just to tick off NBC. That's your problem. Have Twitter discipline. Go play with your kids. It's not my job. When it comes to Olympic results, air them live. If you want to tape delay them, that's NBC's decision. That's their business practice. But I'm not going to wait for you to broadcast them. I'm a reporter. Here's the results. I always laugh when the NBA and the NFL tell leagues, don't, don't give out the draft picks before the draft pick. Whoa, 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 time out there. T time out, cowboy. You know why I have information? Because your general managers won't keep their mouth quiet. <laughs> if your general managers would stop blabbing, I wouldn't have the information. Are you going to tell me Adrian Wojnarowski, who's the best NBA beat reporter that's ever lived, who works for Yahoo, he should wait for ESPN or this network or that wet network to give the draft pick? You're out of your mind. He's a rep There's no way. That doesn't work that way. Reporters are the IRS. They are now, they are not built to be our friends. But all that said, I've got two exceptions. And I've always had these exceptions. I'm not speaking for any other reporter. I am not saying my opinion, which you will, you will hear now, is right. I'm just telling you my opinion. I always had two exceptions when I would not report stuff. Number one was death. I'm not going to tell you your kid died. I'm going to let law enforcement do that. If I have death, I'll suppress it. Secondarily, police or military information that could put people who are paid to protect my life and my family's life, I'm not putting them in harm's way. So if the cops are doing something in my community or, or, or military, don't kid yourself. When there's a war going on, what do you think the Middle East leaders are watching? They're watching CNN. They're watching Fox. They're looking for intel. I'm not telling you, yeah, yeah, here's where our soldiers are. Here's where our cops are. Those are my only two exceptions. Death, I don't want to be first. Military or law enforcement information, I'm not breaking it. Let somebody else break it. So I thought Fox did the right thing last night, and I thought baseball did the right thing, that the Royals pitcher, Edison Volquez, his father died before the game. And now there were varying reports out there that he knew, he didn't know. Here is the manager of the Kansas City Royals. In my opinion, he would actually know the truth. Here's what he said, Ned Yost. You know, we found out about it before the game, and the, the wishes of the family was, you know, let, let Eddie pitch. Um, so I was kind of keeping my eye. I didn't want him to hear about it. Um, I was keeping my eye on him, and, um, you know, he's, he was fine. He, he, he didn't know, and I guess after the game is when he found out. The Royals knew and wouldn't tell him. Ken Rosenthal, this company knew and wouldn't tell him. In that instance, my opinion, I agree. When it comes to death and it comes to intel that could put police or military, people paid to protect us in harm's way, I'm never going to be first.